The craft beer business in the Bay Area is so good that big business is brewing up a plan to take it over. And while the takeover talks are not sitting well with local beer fans, it's a point of pride for those making their mark in the craft beer business. ABC Action News reporter Bill Logan is live at Cigar City Brewing in Tampa with all the details. Hi, Bill. And good evening to you, Linda. I tell you what, this is a great assignment for me because I, like many other folks here in the Bay Area, have an affinity for this product. But when word poured out this weekend that the folks who make Budweiser might be interested in taking over this facility, well, the reaction was not good. Since 2009, Cigar City Brewing has been turning out top-notch handcrafted beers. From the wildly popular Hialai IPA to the Maduro Brown Ale, folks have flocked to the facility here off Spruce Street to see how it's made and hear a little brewer's wisdom from the man who started it all, Joey Redmond. And the wort is actually pumped through there, and it'll spray out the top. That's actually how you boil it. He proudly showed off his in-process product today as we talked about the changes in the beer business, changes that are making the smaller craft brewers like Cigar City big targets for beer giants like Anheuser-Busch InBev, who've been seeing the popularity of their flagship macro-brewed lagers lagging. They expressed an interest. Uh, you know, we kind of left it at that. We exchanged a few emails, but it, there's really been nothing further uh, than that going on. With no agreement in the works. Redner is carrying on, as always, here in brew house number one. He says he doesn't want to sell out to anyone right now, but he can see sale or merger opportunities for lots of local craft brewers coming to a head. The difference between my brewery and probably 30-plus other breweries uh, is that when a reporter asked me if, if ABI had approached me, I answered the question honestly. Yeah, they approached me, but it really never went beyond that. And I guarantee that they've approached other breweries, um, you know, definitely in the southeast, if not specifically in Florida. We contacted other local beer makers, and while they say they haven't had the call yet, they're anticipating it. And like Redner, who says working for someone else holds no interest for him, they're going to likely be flattered by the courtship, but make no plans to run to the altar. So take heart, hopped-up beer fans. Your suds are safe. It's definitely not going to change the way we do business, no. Which is good news for the folks out here at the uh, tasting area of Cigar City Brewing. And also for uh, the overwhelming response of folks that got back to me when I posted this story on Facebook. They said, no, Joey, don't do it. So don't worry, hopped up beer fans. Nothing's getting watered down. We're live in Tampa this evening. Bill Logan, ABC Action News.